Well, hello there, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. What do you think about this set? Ew! It's so over the top and it's so bougie. I am obsessed. I decided to make it spooky and I decided to make it pink in honor of October and because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So shout out to all of my bougie warriors out there and let's get started. So I'm really excited about today because Madam Glam was really nice and they sent me this cool package with this cute little gold lamp in it. It's so adorable. I love it. And they also sent me the these really cute gel polishes so today i'm gonna be trying all these things out and i'll be letting you know what i think well, here are the tips that I'm going to be using. These are extra, extra long uh, tips that I buy from AliExpress. They're like about five bucks. Other companies sell them for double the price. But I'm like, nah, 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 nah. So, as you guys could see, I am unpacking my little gold mini lamp that I got sent by Madam Glam. And it comes with all these little things. And I am going to be grabbing the Soak Off base coat and the Soak Off... Um, I think this is the top coat. Yeah, and I left the other one inside the box. The other one was a gel polish remover. I've never heard of gel polish remover, gel polish. But I'll use it next time and I'll let you guys know if it works. And it also comes with this little file and a cuticle pusher and these little foils. At first, I was really confused and I didn't know what these were. And I guess they're like little tiny pads of cotton inside these foils that you could put acetone in them and it removes your gel polish. So, all right, let's get started. So on already clean hands, I am going to take this little wooden cuticle pusher and I'm going to be pushing all of the cuticles on my fingers back. And once I am done doing that, I'm going to be taking my little file and I'm going to be buffing the tops of my nails like so. I just want my nails to have a little bit of texture and I'm going to be doing that to all of my fingers. And this is what our fingers should look like. They should look a little bit crusty. And mine look especially crusty because um, I'm a nail biter. So <laughs> I apologize if my fingers look a little nubby. And once I am done filing them, I'm going to be cleaning them off with some rubbing alcohol. And this is what they should look like. And now we are ready to apply our press-on nails. So um, since our press-on nails are shiny on the inside and we can't really etch them very well with the file, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and what this does is that this mattifies the inside of the press on nail and it removes the shine i mean it doesn't really make too much texture but at least it doesn't it's not as shiny you know what i mean so it's something to grip onto right so i'm going to do this to all of the nails and then i'm going to apply it with my base coat and the way that I apply my press on nails with base coat is I just apply a thin layer onto my actual nail and then I take some base coat and then I apply it on the inside of the fake or of the fake. Well, of course it's fake, but inside of the press on nail. And then I'm going to take the press on nail and then I'm going to place it over my thumb and I'm going to hold it while it sets inside of the UV lamp. I didn't really record it this time, but um, I'll record it again with my second nail. So I just hold it down like I'm doing it right here in the video. I hold it down just like this inside of the UV lamp. Um, somebody in my last video where I did this method told me that there are these little clips on Amazon that hold the nail for you. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase the... La la la. Can't even talk. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase them for next time. And I forgot to show you how I applied the nail here in this clip. So I'm going to show you how I do it again on my next finger. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over my little gold lamp on its side and then I'm going to take my base coat and I'm going to apply it on my finger and then I'm going to apply it on my press-on nail and then I'm going to turn on the lamp and then while holding the press-on nail onto my finger, I am just going to let it set until... Um, it's set in place and I can remove my finger and once I'm able to let the nail go I am actually going to let it set for the remaining time and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set it for a second time just to make sure that it's really really set oh and I let it set for 60 seconds that's the only setting that's on this little lamp and this is what our nail should look like after we're done and so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of my fingers and then we're going to start prepping our nails to paint them. Alright, so far so good. My nails look pretty good and they seem pretty sturdy. So I really, really like the lamp and the base coat so far. And so now I'm going to take a file and I'm just going to shave off that little pointy thing that's on the top of my personal nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my pink buffing block and I am going to buff the tops of all of my nails. 
So one thing I like to do when I apply my press-on nails with base coat is I like to blend the press-on nail into my natural nail by buffing in the cuticle area. Um, I don't know if you could sometimes tell where the press-on nail starts and your natural nail is. Well, that's the area that I like to blend in so you don't really see the press-on nail if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to do this to all of my nails and you don't have to do this if you don't want to. This is just a preference of mine and this is completely optional if you guys don't want to do it. Go ahead i just this is just something that i like to do and i just thought i'd share and this is what they should look like after you are done buffing them and since they do have a little bit of texture i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take my pink buffing block again and i'm just gonna blend them in nicely with the rest of my nail and once I'm done uh, blending them in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to clean off the tops of my press-on nails and now I am ready to start painting them okay friends so i'm glad that we got all that boring stuff over with so now let's get our colors i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna grab think pink and i'm gonna get sweet november along with my madam glam um gel top coat and so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna paint my nails and i really really love this pink you guys one thing that i will say is that this gel nail polish has really awesome coverage with just one coat it damn near covered my whole entire nail which is really really cool i really really like these nail polishes you guys five out of five for me and i definitely recommend them so madam glam was really awesome enough to give us a coupon code it is vanity val 30 for money off your next madam glam order so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna finish painting my press on nails with sweet november and then i'm going to paint them with the clear gel nail polish by madam glam as well and then i'm going to set them in the uv lamp for 60 seconds once we are done setting it we're going to repeat the process for a second time and then we're going to go over it with a clear gel nail polish and you are going to set it once more for 60 seconds and these should be your results And one thing I noticed is that the Madam Glam top coat isn't a no wipe top coat. So when you take it, so when you take it, so when you take it out of the UV lamp, it's going to have a sticky surface. So make sure to wipe it down with rubbing alcohol after you take it out of the UV lamp and you should be ready to go. Okay, so since I'm freestyling this set, I really don't know what I want to do with it. So I just want to go straight into blinging and somebody recommended that I use IBD hard gel because I ran out of my Jenny Secret Crystal gel and i'm looking for a more inexpensive option and i'm looking to stick on this gem it's actually a gem that's for sweaters it it belongs on these weird grandma sweaters but i decided why not stick it on my nail honey so i took off the gold uh hook on the back of it with some nail clippers and now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use some ibd gel and i'm going to add a nice thick glob on my press on nail and i'm just going to stick my little heart shaped gem right on top like this bloop and then i'm going to set it in my uv lamp for 60 seconds and when you set it in your uv lamp make sure to hold it or else it will tilt to the side because she is chunky and she will lean mama and look how pretty she looks friend oh my god she's so cute and she's so chunky and she's so big yes i love her okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take some more glue and i'm going to add lots of it on the sides to reinforce it even more and once i'm done adding glue all over my nail i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add more bling around this big giant chunky stone just to add support to it and just so i know that it won't pop off so i'm gonna grab my little wax pen i get these from amazon and sometimes these come included in the um, crystal kits that i buy off of amazon and i'm going to go ahead and i'm gonna mess around with these large ab crystals i get these from amazon as well and i will be linking everything that i use in the description box below and if i forget and if i forget oh my gosh you guys you know i can never speak but if i ever forget to link anything please let me know and i will be more than happy to link it in the description box and for i'm just you. gonna place um these large ab crystals in a row once i've made my little row with the large ab crystals i'm going to take my smaller round ab gems that i also get from amazon and i'm going to take these opal 
type of gems that I got from the San Jose flea market and I'm going to take these black gems that I purchased from Etsy from a store called blingy thingy and I'm just going to place these gems around my row of large AB crystals just randomly anywhere where I see fit and anywhere that they can fit as well when working with thick uv glues like jenny's secret or the ibd gel or whatever this thing's called uh, i do suggest that you work really really fast and as soon as you're done setting it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds or else your work will literally start moving around and then will disperse and it will look like caca and you will get angry so try and set it as soon as you're done working with it so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to work on my pinky and the pinky gets a giant oval honey and i'm going to redo the whole entire process that i did with my middle finger heart nail with this little chunky oval and uh we'll be back once i'm done and this is what our bling is looking like so far yes friend we are looking so bougie and we are looking so expensive expansive i freaking love it so guess what your girl wants to do more bling because i have one more giant pink pair that i want to work on and it's perfect for my thumb so let's go ahead and let's repeat the process all over again boo boos because we are bougie and uh that's how we like it <laughs> You can't tell me that i didn't go in on this thumb i really really love this set you guys it's giving me on the snitch on your daddy vibes Ew. <laughs> so anyways let's continue so as if this set can't get any more bougie i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take these lv print stickers that i made with my cricut if you guys are curious how i make my own um, nail stickers i will be putting it down in the description box below and i'm gonna take my helpful tweezers and i'm just gonna peel this sticker off and i'm gonna put it on my press on nail and with my finger i'm going to flatten it down and this is what it should look like once i have already applied once i have already applied all the stickers onto my nail and now let's move on and let's move on to my my other nail so i don't know if you guys remember but i've used these stickers before i've also made these with my cricut and i use these stickers when i made the spider bougie virgo set for my birthday and i'm gonna reuse them because i want to create a chunky little blinged out spider i've been seeing these spiders everywhere on pinterest on my feet so i thought why not slap a uh, blinged out little spider with a big old chunky booty onto my nail so yeah so i'm gonna apply the sticker and then i'm gonna flatten it down with my finger and once i am done i'm gonna take my clear gel nail polish and i'm going to paint over the stickers i'm gonna set it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and once they are nice and set i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take my large ab crystals again and i'll be looking for a giant shaped pair but before I apply the pair, I am going to add some of my glue or my builder gel. And then I'm just going to apply the giant pair onto my little spider's butt. And then I'm going to apply a little circle for its head. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to put it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. Let's get the color Think Pink. And I'm just going to place it on this little container top and then i'm going to grab my cuticle pusher and i'm going to grab a pretty good amount of the think pink and i'm going to concentrate it in the cuticle area here right above the spider and once i'm done concentrating it at the top making it into like a little blob i'm going to start dragging the color down to create a slime effect so i'm just going to grab blobs and i'm going to pick up color whenever i feel like it needs color So once I am done creating the slime, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add random little teardrop shape drops. And then I'm just going to add little tiny specks to make it look like it's been dripping and to make it look like it's been slimy. So yeah. <laughs> and once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it to the LV print as well. And then I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And once we are done setting it, please make sure to seal in your design with a clear top coat. So this is what our nails should be looking like so far. I absolutely love them. I'm so obsessed. These are the most extra nails that I've ever created. And they still need a little bit more bling on the nails that don't have bling. I'm going to add a little row of round diamonds on the bottom or round gems like this. And all I did was just apply them. And then I set them for 60 seconds. And voila, my friend. 
this is our set i absolutely love it so now that we're done i'm gonna go ahead and i definitely recommend that you take some rubbing alcohol to clean off your crystals because sometimes the ibd gel could be a little bit sticky and so when you're done wiping your crystals down with rubbing alcohol go ahead and take some cuticle oil because your cuticles are gonna need it mama they're going to be dry so my final verdict on madam glam new york products do i like them yes or no um i really really love their gel nail polishes and i definitely recommend them they have awesome one coat coverage and i really really love how thick they are however i do have a concern with the little gold uv lamp it doesn't really set the gel nail polish on my extra extra long press on nails so that is the only problem that i had with it other than that it helped apply my press on nails with the base coat perfectly so if it's something that you guys are interested in i definitely recommend you guys purchasing it however it is a little bit of a splurge it is like about a hundred dollars or so so if you guys are looking for a different alternative amazon has a lot of inexpensive mini led lights as well however i wouldn't let that discourage you from buying the gel nail polishes they are really thick and they have awesome one coat coverage so i definitely recommend the gel nail polishes again my beautiful gorgeous and bougie friends thank you guys so much for being here and watching to the very end i'm super duper thankful for each and every one of you guys that do and then also thank you guys so much again for getting me to 9,000 subscribers i literally can't believe it when i woke up that morning and i saw that i had 9,000 subs i literally started crying like ugly crying like kim kardashian i never thought that i'd be here this is i honestly feel like it's a dream thank you guys so freaking much i love you i love you i love you i will see you guys maybe on halloween <laughs> Goodbye. Watch lots of spooky movies and eat lots of candies. But be careful because remember, too much sweetie gonna give you diabetes. Mwah. Buenas noches, my loves.